so staying American, this is another drop dial clock that I got with the New Haven. I got the New Haven locally on Craigslist, and I also got this one locally from the same person. Both clocks combined to be $200, so it's a pretty good deal in my eyes. So as you can see here, you got the little window for the pendulum. You can watch it. You can also put that window up. I like how it sticks up and then you don't have to hold it with two hands. Got a tiny little piece of circular glass there. It's a very heavy pendulum and you got your coil gong there that this strikes on. Apparently these are hard to find in such a small size. This one here is about the length of my forearm. I think that's the forearm. I'm not, um, I don't know anatomy. You know what I mean though. Uh, this one comes with, of course, a strike and time. And, uh, count wheel striking, most likely an anchor escapement. Opens up like that. Mm, looks like it's keeping time since I set it. Though I'm going to disrupt that so I can show you how it sounds. Vessel goes shut like that. And then when you want to open it, you just... Bend that little piece back there a little bit and can push it back a little bit. It's a bit fumbly, but it's what you get when you get these old clocks, you know? There, that works. There we go. So, it's Seth Thomas, probably dated around the late 1800s, as I'm told. Uh, again, just like in the previous video, this was owned by a gentleman who actually serviced it on his own. So, unless it stops for whatever reason, I'm not going to be opening it up and taking the face out and the bezel and all that. Because I don't want to end up breaking something unless I absolutely have to. So, that's pretty much it. Here you can see... Nice little pattern you got going on here. Up, down, up, down. So that's cool. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. See you next time.